When you first get started with motion design, it's exciting just to make something move. But as you progress, you start to notice the work of other motion designers. Their animations are buttery smooth, their motion is so believable, and so much life and personality is infused. In comparison, your work just looks dull, or like something is off, even if you can't put your finger on exactly what. Maybe you wanted to get into a creative field like motion design because you're not a big fan of math and physics. So when you saw a math tool, aka the graph editor, in your design software, you probably decided to write it off and avoid it. But there's a reason the graph editor exists. It's key to creating realistic, interesting, and professional looking animations. It's key to taking your animations to the next level. Welcome to Smooth Moves, better motion with animation curves in the graph editor. I'm Megan Freest and I'm an explanimator, which is just to say that I write, illustrate, and animate educational animations, mostly on health and environment related topics. I had the exact experience I described a second ago. I studied physiology in college, then went on to get a master's in creative technology and design. I didn't specifically go to school for motion design, so most of my animation skills are self-taught. I spent a while avoiding the graph editor because I didn't think that I understood it. But as it turns out, the math and physics classes that I was required to take for my degree were preparing me to create realistic motion in my animations. I just didn't know it at the time. Even if you've never taken a physics class, you intuitively know a lot about physics likely all that you need for animation just by living in this world. You just need to learn how to apply that to your animations, which is what this class is for. Achieving realistic motion is the focus of this class, but once you understand how to control the motion of your animations, you can push the boundaries for a dramatic or cartoony effect that's playful and full of personality. This class is for you if you're comfortable with the basics of setting keyframes to create animations in Adobe After Effects. While many of the concepts discussed in this class apply to animation in general, I'll be using After Effects to demonstrate them and to complete the class project. If you're brand new to animation in After Effects, check out a few of my beginner classes first. Whether you chronically avoid the graph editor or use it occasionally, you'll come away from the class with a clearer understanding of this powerful tool. You'll gain new ways of analyzing motion that you can apply to every animation you create from here on out. We'll talk through definitions to give you the vocab to communicate with other motion designers. And we'll put these concepts into practice with a fun exercise and the class project. So if you're ready to move your animations to the next level, then let's get started.